All right, homies. So first up, we are gonna be making the M4A1S from CSGO. And this build comes from the homie Delino. So huge shout out to them. So for the first attachment, we're gonna head over to the barrels and we're gonna go ahead and run this 14 inch carbine shroud. And then for the suppressor, we're gonna go ahead and run this Echoless 80. Now for the stock, they say to use this Assault 60, but I think that this Torrent Span 9 is just a little more accurate to the stock that's on the M4 and CS, so this is the one that I'm gonna be running with. Now once you got on these three attachments, you're done with the build, but he says that if you wanna make it play more like it does in CS, you can head over to the lasers and you can run this FTAC Grimline. This makes the hit fire spread just a lot more tighter than it is by default. And then you can also slap on the armor piercing rounds, which I like to tune for as much damage range and bullet velocity as possible. And then to go with the M4, I decided to make the iconic USPS. All you need is the PA90, these two attachments, and then you got the look pretty much spot on. Now, obviously in Modern Warfare 2, you can't turn this M16 to full auto. So if you wanna make it kind of close to CSGO, you can turn it to semi-auto, crouch down, and then kind of just tap fire away. The thing actually works kind of decent, surprisingly. And then the USPS is actually pretty decent too. Since the thing shoots so slow with that trigger, it kind of like recenters before you can get your next shot off. So you can actually hit fire pretty decent. But I'm gonna actually play it like it's CS. I'm not gonna aim down sights at all. So hopefully I play decent with it. Oh yeah. Double whammy. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh my god. Oh, dude, I got second and I didn't even touch my sprint button all game. All right, so next up, we're making the MP5 MLI, and this was suggested by the homie Pines Mall. Now, they give a full build for this, but I saw a lot of different builds on the internet, so I'm going to kind of just do my own thing and like combine them all pretty much. But for the first attachment, we're going to head over to the rear grips and the one we're going to be going with is this LM Cronus. Now for the sight, pretty much any one of these can work. The one I'm going to be going with is the Kazan Hollow. And then for the laser, we're going to go ahead and run the VLK. Now for the muzzle, we're going to go ahead and run this EXF Huntress. But if you have the variant for the Vaznev called the Alabaster, go ahead and use this skin for it. You'll see why when we throw on the camo. And then for the underbarrel, we're going to go ahead and use this Lock Grip Precibri. Pre Cool. Precision, and then I'm pretty sure if you beat the campaign, you get this underbarrel variant for it called the Union Guard. Union Guard. I can't talk right now. And then finally, you're gonna want to head over to your solid colors, and if you have it, go ahead and slap on that sand camo. And then if you're using the skins for the underbarrel and the muzzle, you'll notice that no matter what camo we pick, it doesn't change the colors of them. Meaning that you can either go with the sand camo or the charcoal camo. Either one works just fine. Now the thing about this MP5 build is that the range on it is actually pretty good, the recoil is super easy to control, to the point where you can even hit this guy all the way back here at 50 meters. And then the mobility on this is nice as well, sprint fire speed still pretty quick, so I'm fully expecting to pop off with it. Five and A little bit of range to it. What about burst fire? Is this any good? Feels pretty good.
Alright, so next up we're making the FN Mark 20 SSR and this was recommended by Windows XP way back. I just completely forgot about it. I'm really sorry. But for the first attachment, we're going to head over to the rear grips and we're going to go ahead and run this XRK response grip. And then for the optic, I'm just going to go ahead and go with this Luca Bandera since it's the closest to the scope I saw on most MK20s. And then we're going to go ahead and slap on this LR1 20.5 inch barrel. And then for the muzzle, we're going to go ahead and run this TZL 90 V3. And finally, we're going to go ahead and use this level aim bipod. And then for a finishing touch, we're going to head over to the solid colors and you can go ahead and slap on this sand camo. Now this thing is a absolute beast. It can get a one shot headshot all the way out to 50 meters, which is just absolutely insane now this thing does only have a 10 round mag and it is very slow and clunky but let's be honest i should be fine Free for all. your task is to destroy all targets Um, yeah, let's just go to the next gun. All right, so next up, we're going to be turning the Karak 300 into the WA-2000 from COD Online. But to get it started, for the first attachment, we're going to head over to the rear grips and we're going to go ahead and run this Karak Palm. And then for the stock, we're going to use the Mr. T Lexa 5 V14. And then for the barrel, we're going to go ahead and use the 30 inch Flint Fire Bipod. And then for the final attachment, just go ahead and bump up to the 10 round mag. And then we're going to go ahead and head over to our salt colors. And y'all would know, go ahead and slap on that charcoal camo. Now with how miserable I was with that tack and build, I'm not even going to try to use this because this thing is even slower. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but the WA 2000 is very good in this game, especially if you build it like a DMR. But it's a very consistent one shot to the upper chest and above. And yeah, it puts people down. Next up, we're going to be making the All-American Assault Rifle from the legendary video game Fallout New Vegas. Now, this was suggested by the homie Destro on my last Hidden Weapons video. He gave a full in-depth build for this. However, I'm going to change it up and kind of just do my own thing because I think that my version looks a little more accurate. But regardless, huge shout out to Destro. Make sure to show them some love in the comments. Starting with the stocks, we're going to go ahead and use this Corio Preseo. Preseo. Preseo's fact. Preseo Factory. Yep. And then for the optic, I'm going to be going with this SZ Bullseye. But if you want to give it that little laser piece on the top, Destro says to use this SZ Oscar 9. Now for the barrel, Destro says you can use the Tempest Trench Pro. But I think that this TH4 is a little more accurate just because it's a lot shorter. But once again, like the optic, it's entirely up to you. And then for the muzzle, I'm going to be using the Corvus Slash Gen 2. But Destro suggests to use this FJX Fulcrum Pro. They're pretty much the same shape and size, so whichever one can work just fine. And then for the camo, I would suggest going over to Woodland. The one I went with is this Green Woods camo that you unlock from the FSS Hurricane. But the one that Destro suggests is this Modern Woodland. Either or works just fine. I don't think really here one or the other is more accurate. And then finally, you're going to want to go to your second sticker slot. And there's a couple of different stickers you can use. Destro suggests this one right here. I think that this one can work as well. Or even one of these two from season two. And then I just want to compare. Here's my version. And then here's Destro's version. He also slaps on that 45 round mag, I think, to give it the steel mag look. And then here's the version of the gun in the game. Honestly, I think that both of ours are pretty much on point. But I want to know what y'all think. Is my version better or is Destro's version better? Leave your answers in the comments down below. But I don't really have to explain this too much. You already know the M4 is a beast. It's my personal favorite gun in the game. And I think that me and Destro's builds both look incredible. So once again, huge shout out to them. But let's go try out the gun. It beam it, brother. Gotta hit that stim pack. Copy 
UAV is being fueled. And to finish it out, we're going to be making two classic guns from Black Ops 2, the Ballista and the Remington 870 MCS. And the builds for both of these were given by Leafy Leafion, so huge shout out to them, thank you very much. But for the first attachment, we're going to be slapping on this 8 round mag. Next for the stock, we're going to go ahead and run this PVZ 890. Now for the scope, Leafy says to use this SZ Ultra. But in my opinion, I think that the default scope already looks like the ballistas. But instead, I'm going to go ahead and use this FSS ST87 bolt. That way I can shoot a little bit faster and it allows me to play a little bit more aggressive. Then for the muzzle, go ahead and slap on this Demon T7. And then this is optional, but for the underbarrel, you can slap on this Cornerstone bipod. And then finally, we're going to head over to our solid colors. And we're going to go ahead and slap on that sand camo. Now moving on to the 870 MCS, for the first attachment, we're going to head over to the guards. We're going to go ahead and use this Demo X50 Tactical Pump. And then for the stock, pretty much any one of these three will work right here. Leafy says to use the FSS Watchman, so that's what we're going to be using. And then for the laser, we're actually going to be throwing on the flashlight, this one being the EXF Solar Flare. And then the barrel in Black Ops 2 just isn't really in this game, but I'd say that the closest one is this 21.5 inch Bryson Shredder. And then finally for the muzzle, go ahead and slap on this Mac 8 Frostbite. Now because Infinity Ward likes to punish you for every attachment you throw on, the aim down sight speed on this gun isn't going to be the best, but I think I can still quick scope with it a little bit. And obviously having on that bolt for the increased rate of fire makes this thing pretty nasty. The Remington, however, I mean, it's a shotgun. I don't think this has that much range to it, so we'll just have to see. But anyways, let's go hop in the game. Please aim. Alright homies, before we wrap this up, I just want to say thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all so, so much for supporting this series. Just wouldn't be possible without you guys. Like obviously you saw how many people suggested guns for this video. But anyways, like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe to join the dark side. And as always, make sure to drink some water. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.